Okay, at this stage of the game, we're going to put a light source on this. Um, uh, looking at my sketch, I see that I'm having my light source coming from my left, and it's going to go across, and it's going to nullify this big area of white here. In essence, what would happen if I just left it the way it was, the viewing public will immediately go to this area or this area over here, okay? And what I want to do with this application of a light source is I want to redirect the viewer's eye into this area right here, okay? These are my main players. Everything back here is secondary, okay? But it has to be done to make it work right, okay? So here we go. We have a clean palette, clean water, and I'll go into my cobalt blue and permanent rose. Those will be, I have no, I do not need any more color in there, so I do not put in a warm shadow, okay? If I had a painting that had very little color in it, I would probably introduce a warm shadow to it, okay? Let's, let's put it this way. Whatever is up here dictates what, what uh, color your shadow is, okay? This is a fall scene, so by golly, we're going to make it work here. Okay, here we go. And as looking at my sketch, I see I have a shadow running across this white here, okay? Let's just run it like that and like that, okay? Now, my sunlight would be coming here, so it would go like that. I don't mind having a little area like that. In fact, I kind of like that, okay? What I'll do is I'm going to do the same thing right here. I told you I was going to run and run this off over here. So that tells you that there's a, a tree or something here that's throwing a shadow, okay? Let's not worry too much about it, okay? I want to leave that little white area there, and I'll come in here and I'll put a shadow on the barn right here, okay? Like right there. What I could do up here, if I keep messing around with it, it's going to get worse. Okay, I'll just do that on the, there. Okay, now I will just come over here and bring that down to there. And over here, these silos are round, so what happens is they would have a shadow that runs like this and like this, okay? And it would come down like that. Now, this barn here will be throwing a shadow like this. Coming down here and over into here, okay? And there's always little lines like that. You can put those in. I won't put another one back here, but I think I've got something really neat going here. Let's put a shadow there. Now, coming off over here, let's run a shadow up here like this and like this. Let's even that up a little bit to there and let's run one there. Let's run a shadow here. Same thing here, repetition, folks. We're repeating ourselves. And we're going over here like this, and then down like that, and then over, down, and over. Okay, like that. Now, getting over to here. This barn and the silos would throw a shadow like this, okay? Let's come over here, and let's run that to there. Let's leave, a, leave the cow a little bit. Okay, and let's run it past the cow just a little bit there, to there, okay? Now, you can see up here on this fence line here, we can bring a shadow down here, and we can just run it down to here, and what that tells you is that there is a variation in the land, as you can tell by the inlet here. We can just do that and leave it alone. Just, just bring it right straight down and just leave it alone, okay? Now, I, I need to mix up a big bunch of it because I'm covering up this whole area right here. We can come over here and do a little of this, a little of this, okay? That should be sufficient. If not, I can always mix up some more, okay? Now, coming down here, we're hooking into here and coming down here. What this tells me is, and the viewing public, is there are trees back here out of the composition that is throwing these nice, wonderful, big shadows. We can come up here like that if you want to do that. Don't be too, too, concerned here. You could put a little one there like that. If you keep messing with it, Frank, it's not going to work. So there you go. Okay, like that. You can see there's a problem area there, but I'm, I'll just leave it alone. Get away from it. That'd be your best bet. And what I'll do is there's a little area white and a little area white. I will leave that right there. And then I will just cover this whole area up. So in essence, what we've done is we push this corner back and we are bringing into focus our, 
our light source. Okay, I'll just put a few little areas like this to tell you that it's that it's water. You don't need to do too much more to there. Okay, now where there's a little jog here, let's run a little shadow there. Okay, and the same with right here. Let's just run a little shadow there, and that'll be just fine. Now. I will come up here and I will get a round brush again. I need to put some shadows on these cows. But the next, first thing I need to do is pick up that big blob right there. And the same with this right here. I need to pick that up. Okay, cool. Now, getting ready to do this here on the back end of this cow to have a shadow. On this side of the cow would be, and you can do that like right here. The same with over here. And in essence, what we've done is we have brought in some more color. Let's just get rid of all that. And we can have a shadow there. I don't know if I like that or not. Get rid of that. And under here. And around like that. Okay, and over here we can go here with that, we'll go here with that one, and underneath on this one, it would go up underneath here, and there would be a shadow there, a shadow there, and a shadow here. And with this one laying down, it would be there. Okay, now, I'll go to the big brush again, gather up a big bunch, and then I'll just make these shadows like right like that. See how that works? It works very slick. The same with here, and the same with here. We'll go across and we'll pick that up, and here. And we'll do the same here and there. Okay, I think that let's run a shadow across here like that. There. The more you mess around here, the more you might ruin it. So I think now would be the time to to call it good here. We could do a couple things here. We could come up here, and we could put a couple windows in if you'd like. We can put some windows in here. And the farmhouses here. We could come and just put a little window there. And I hate to do the same here, but I'm going to I'm put it there. Okay. Now, let's, uh, oh, I have a chimney here. Let's put a shadow on it. And I think that pretty much takes care of it. I was a little concerned over here when I first started about not leaving a white area here. I believe that's fine if you wanted to. You could come over here and, and describe this and say okay there's a shadow on that and that's all I'll do. They do make a product that you can lift that off with. Um, it's in the local cleaning department of your store. It's called Mr. Magic Eraser. You can take and you, what you could do is you could you could mask that off with tape and take that eraser and lift that color off to white if you would like to do that. Huh? I don't think it's necessary in this case here. Looking at here, I think I need a couple really, really, really darks and then we'll just call it good. Okay. At this stage of the game, I like to let them sit for a while, especially overnight or something. Then I can come in and finish them, but in this scenario, we don't have that um, privilege. So we can come in and we can put a few darks in like that, okay? And let's put a dark in here. And we could put a few in over here like that, okay? And a few in right there, okay? Coming down here, we could put a few in here. Put some raisins in it here. And then over here, we could just run something like that. And a dark right there. I don't know about that, if I like that or not. What I can do is I can bring that up. Okay, I like that much better. Get the painting the way you like it. Okay, you're painting it, so you need to get it the way it will make you happy, and then we'll call it good. Put a few darks in, and like I say, you could do this forever, but I think now would be a good time for me to stop. Okay, and you come in here. And if you'd like, you could just do some more on the cows. But I think that I will just leave it at that because if the more I do there, the more it's going to draw the viewer's attention there. Okay? I figure in a few more paintings and 20 or 30 more of these paintings, I'll know how to do a really good cow. But I think it worked for, for what I'm trying to show you folks there. What happened is that leaked into there and that leaked into there. Just take your finger and wipe it off. 
be no problem. Now, we need a signature, okay? I think I need something right here, so we can go ahead and we can just put our name in there, and that should be plenty dry at this time. And we can come over here and just grab it here and here. And here we go. Here we go. And just, like I say, it becomes a design factor. So be proud of what you've done. Oh, I signed my last first, so I have to do my first here. And if you have any signature status, by all means, put them on there. Okay, now that I have a little bit of red here, I wonder what I can do with it to make it work over here. What if we have another red window right next to this one here? We could do that, that would work. I don't want to get too carried away with this red. Let's put a one there, and I think that should do it. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.